Um, happy Sunday, Haley and everyone. I'm trying to figure out which camera I'm looking at. Um, welcome to Cross Country Cousins. This is um, John O'Connor, and this is my update for this week. Um, I wanted to let you know that I'm starting the video in Harvest Colors because it's like that fall time. And I have a question, Haley, technically about this track jacket. Um, is it vintage if I bought it in 2004? Because I did, so I was just curious about whether or not I can call it vintage if it's almost 10 years old. Um, so I love those classic pieces I have in my wardrobe, um, and hoping that it's vintage, because that would be awesome. So, what? Okay, so my first good thing for this week um, was that I, last Sunday, um, the day of your video, um, did the main half marathon, uh, and I had been sick last mm. the week before that, like two weeks ago now, so I was not really sure if I was going to run, um, but I ran it in two hours and four minutes, which is only 14 minutes longer than my longest, uh, my best time on a half marathon, so it wasn't my best, um, but it was pretty good. And this is um, the finisher's medal, which is pretty awesome, and it has this like spinny component. Um, so I think my good thing from the week was number one, finishing the half marathon and feeling pretty good. It was down in Portland. We ran up to Falmouth and back. Um, and also getting this really nifty medallion with a spinning lobster. So that was pretty awesome. So for my second good thing, so my second really good thing is that I got to see Nana Barbara this week. Um, I went with my mom to visit Nana Barbara and she was talking about colors because she really enjoyed the color of the sweater that I was wearing today, um, which was awesome. Um, but I told her about your green and purple, um, you see the corresponding colors because your story, green and purple lights that you had and how I told her that those were like complimentary colors according to her and that those were colors that you'd use a lot. Um, and she thought that was like the greatest thing ever. So that was my second good thing was getting to see Nana Barbara and... Um, oh, I guess we're doing like a food item in every video. Is that how we're doing this now? So I have right here, um, these are sea salt caramels, dark chocolate from Whole Foods, um, which are like one of my absolute favorites. So, um, I'm going to show you right now. These are like maybe seasonal, but they've had them at the Portland Whole Foods for a long time. But you see that they have actual big chunks of sea salt on them and they are covered chocolate caramel goodness. Mmm. And I have caramel inside. They're like probably better than your caramel apple lollipops, just like for the record. Um, so the third good thing, which I kind of did too in that last one, which was Nana Barbara and salted caramel, but this one, I went to Boston on Friday night with my friend Joe, and we went speed dating. Um, so there was an event, uh, and you got to meet 18 guys for four minutes each, which was really fun. But really different, I'd never been speed dating before, and I don't currently live in Boston, so that made, like, interesting conversation to be like, oh, like, what are you doing here? And I'd be like, oh, well, like, I used to live in Boston, but I decided to come back and go speed dating, what? Mm. So that was, like, interesting conversation, but overall, like, I dated people from the age of 19 to, like, 44, so that was, like, a really interesting experience, but you got to meet six people for four minutes each, like, per round, and there's three rounds, and in between you got to, like, mix and mingle with everybody, and there was, like, 80 people there. So I guess this is just good to say that there's, like, a lot of single guys in Boston, and Joe and I had, like, a really good time. So that was um, speed dating on Friday night, which was my third good thing. And so the ridiculous thing that happened to me this week while I was in Boston, in addition to doing speed dating, I also did a little bit of shopping because... Who goes to Boston and doesn't do any shopping, um, especially not me. So I was in downtown area near Copley Square, decided to stop in H&M, and within the first 10 minutes of being in the store, I was mistaken from for a sales associate twice. Sir, sir, I need your help with the size. Sir, sir, wait, hold on, I have a question. Like, I'm so sorry, I did not work here. And the most entertaining part of that was that I was wearing this outfit, blue tie, pink shirt, vest, green pants, um, and... None of these pieces of clothing are from H&M. So it was like especially entertaining that everyone thought that I worked at H&M while wearing this outfit, even though that nothing from this outfit is from H&M. So I guess my, that was my ridiculous thing, that I got mistaken for an H&M source associate. But, um, there's a list over here, that's why I keep looking there. The government shutdown is my political current event of the week, obviously. Haley. I know you get distracted by celebrity gossip a lot, so maybe you didn't know the government shut down this week, but the federal government shut down because it's dysfunctional. 
like many other things in life, um, and it's very frustrating because there's been some transgressions on both sides, liberal and, you know, conservative of the issue, but overall, the government shut down. That's a problem. We need to function, so, um, my current event for the week is just government shut down. Not a good thing, and really they need to get it back started up ASAP, so. That's that. And last but surely not least, um, I wanted to just give you um, some words of wisdom for the week. And I was having trouble deciding what those should be this week. But I guess I'm just going to say, keep calm and carry on. I mean, that sounds super cliche. I can't say that. And yours is all clever, like, don't eat your own body weight and whipped cream. I don't even know how I can top that. Um, oh! You can never own too many vests.